Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I've been taking a break from YouTube in general. Uh, I've been breaking from everything. From life. <laughs> um, but, uh, some news. I don't know what this channel's gonna be. Uh, I'm quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. For the most part. I will be playing with my wife and that's about it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be playing much online anymore. I'm not gonna be uh, going to 20s, tournaments, or anything like that. Um, play with my wife. That's it, because it's something that we bond over. But, that being said, uh, she has been struggling with dinosaurs and how to make them good. So I've been online trying to help her uh, build what my idea would be the best variant of this deck. So I came up with a Dark Dinosaur deck with uh, Dark Grappler, Armageddon Knight, Seminar Monks, etc. Good cards like that. Uh, it already plays good Dark Boxes like Overtack and... Uh, uh, so you know after, which are also docks and whatnot, and oh my god, I can obviously stomp over tech. Um, I forgot to put Clara in here, Clara in here, which would have been actually a really powerful card because of that combo where you go like oh my god, and I dump over tech, uh, link Clara, and you now you have a dinosaur and a non-dinosaur in your graveyard, banish them off the oh uh, the revolution pill. Some in Ultimate Conductor from the deck. For one card, you in with a Link, one and a Ultimate Conductor. Off of one card, pretty busted, honestly. And it's something that she actually should probably be playing anyway because uh, she does play the. Uh, well, no, it wouldn't have worked with the Overtack because it's a dinosaur. Anyway, so anyway, let's get this going. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't subscribe. Let me think of below. I will be doing a deck profile right after. So he's playing Fluffles. I thought he was playing. Uh, Sky Strikers because Polish Burial Goods, Metaphor Fusion, it's something that they typically do play. So he, uh, um, he ends with a big ass feel, like, it's scary. It is scary. Okay, so let's, let's pause and look at this. Fight for Saber 2 at 57. Another Saber 2 for 57. Uh, so basically he ended with three Fight for Saber 2 for that 5700 each. He end, uh, ended with a Fight for Tiger with 5200 and then this, but Fluffle Dog doesn't matter. Nor does the Pendulums. What got me, what I thought was going to lose me the game, was this many big ass beat stick, and then what he flips, summon limit. That, so I can only summon twice. That should have been game. But I did this, dump that, uh, Rota, Fossil Dig, Ultimate Conductor, setting all of his monsters. So I set all of that shit in an Ultimate Conductor's effect, can send them to the graveyard, so, it outs anything that says, you know, it can't be destroyed by a battle or card effect, whatever. He gets around that. So, it's really powerful. Um, as you can see, I made it quite easily. This deck is specifically made to turbo out Ultimate Collector Dino. And you'll see it in the deck profile. But anyway, so I beat over everything. And there's 5,000 damage. Just like to point that out, 5k. Passed my turn, Lost World, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't use Lost World. I didn't think about that. But Lost World does lower the monsters, any monsters that he might have top decked. Making it almost impossible to beat over, uh, over after. So onto the deck profile. Uh, two old conductor trainers. I feel like three is too clocky. So I cut it down to two. Uh, one overtack. I, uh, I used to play two, I uh, used to play three conductor, two overtack. Uh, the idea with this overtack, uh, two overtacks was, I could, uh, if I draw one, I still have another one in my deck to dump off the Soe Nova Raptor. I feel good that that would be good, so I could still get that combo off. But it's so breaky at more than one. It just isn't needed at more than one topic for that. Three pretty good topic because Lost World combos with this card is absolutely insane. You didn't get a but there are so many combos with Lost World and Pinker Top that ends with some insanely powerful fields. 
So we know we're after, and uh, you'll see why a lot of this will make sense in a minute. JFX, Asthenius, Da, Ilio, Da, Baby Sarasaurus, Da, Dark Grapher, Armageddon Knight, and 3 Seven Marks. So, um, I'm gonna pause right here and explain my marks behind that. So, uh, this is somewhat standard. Uh, this is somewhat standard now. It's been kind of analyzed. Uh, so many comments with this. This is all standard stuff. Uh, Baby Sarasaurus, some people play two to three babies. I feel like one is all you need. Dark Grapher, Armageddon Knight, they pretty much just act as more copies of Soul Eno for Raptor. Which is the same reason and logic behind playing uh, Summoner Monks. Also, Summoner Monk can um, make some insane builds with uh, Over Raptor and Lost World and just other stuff that you're already playing that can make like a Notoria Beast. Uh, you can make. Uh, you can make like a Notoria Beast, you can make uh, this insane uh, links, whatever, depending on how many Summoner Monks you actually get from the deck. Uh, it dumps, it uses, uh, it triggers, it does trigger the Overraptor's effect to dump, as it does Armageddon Knight. So, he is a dark, so it's in a lower target. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good card. Uh, you have plenty of targets. One, you have also, you have, so you have the uh, one, two, three, four. Five, if need be, six, seven, eight, nine targets for the one seven a month. So it's pretty good. You have plenty of targets. Uh, it's a great card. It gets you this to this quicker. Just mathematically, I was trying to uh, play as many so in over as I could possibly fit into the deck. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve. So basically, I played 12 over Raptors in my deck. So, mathematically speaking, my probability of opening with an over Raptor in my opening hand every game is 100%. I have a 100% chance of pulling off that combo with the over attack, which is why over attack is going down to one. With 12 of them in my deck, I am way more likely to draw into over attack. I mean, um. Over after than I am over attacked, and it just cloggy playing multiples of it. So playing twelve over you know, I mean over after, you know, it's pretty good. Monks are reborn. Duh. Ghost of I guess is uh, second giant rex. I guess it's, it's okay. Uh, that's the only reason it's just the banner giant rex. I mean it. It does. Uh, you can't ash boss with gold talk. By the way, you can't. Uh, typically when it cards a seven from the deck, you can't go. You it can be ash. But this gets around it because it banishes and it summons from the banish zone. So it does the same thing, but Rhoda, uh, you have these two targets. Foolish Burial, duh, dump, uh, miscellaneous swords mainly. Giant Rex is another thing that you could dump. Uh, Over Attack is another thing you could dump. Three Lost World, th uh, three Lost World, two Tower Forming. I thought about playing Seal of Oikakos and, um, <laughs> a set rotation because if they're playing Sky Strikers, they just get locked out of the game that way. It's actually pretty funny, but I decided to, to settle with this because I wanted to play some other cards. I could have cut a Lua and I could cut Infinite and Permanence maybe, but for now I like this ratio. The odds of opening with these aren't that high. I think it's like 64% maybe. I have to redo my math, but uh, it's like 67 so. It's okay, math. Uh, fossil dig. Uh, by the way, set uh, set rotation doesn't increase the math too much to where it's dramatically different to where it matters. So, uh, three fossil dig. The one of uh one double evolution period. This card is amazing. But uh, because you play basically you play uh twelve of these or thirteen of these in your deck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> because you have the 12 over raptors so you know raptors and you have the one evolution pill so you pretty much play 13 of these in your deck again going back to math 100% odds of opening with this in your opening hand it's good math good odds through the lore you have plenty of dark targets for this card so it's pretty good three uh call by the graves three of and permanents these are really powerful cards duh uh extra deck notorious beast 
one Dolka, one Logia, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerebus, Nightmare Unicorn, one Link Rebo, one Undercock Taker, one Lamp, one Land, uh, one, uh, Lepisaurus, whatever the fuck this guy's called, one Summon Sorceress, one Boar Load, one Boar Sword, one Skull Dread, and one Topological Mama Dragon. That's it for the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed that subscribe. Uh, for you guys who are wondering about the side deck, I haven't made one yet, but, uh, I, you know what? I'll do it right here. I have a couple minutes. Spear mode. I have like five minutes left on this video, so, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, three spear mode. It's good. Uh, evenly match. It's an amazing card. I mean, it's amazing. Although, I don't know if we can actually afford this card. It's still like 30 bucks in, uh, in our life. It's insane. Twin Twisters, uh, back row removal. Normally, I side deck, uh, top, uh, Planker Top, but I'm main decking them, so I don't know. Rigeki, Darko, Darko. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to side five spells, five traps, five monsters. Solemn Judgment, so I'm talking fight. The post I'm making this fight for. Uh, because I'm too nice. Dying with all her babies. Not her husband, who has came out of retirement to make her, to play this deck for her and fix it up for her, make it good for her. I didn't ask you that. I know. You knew I would. And then, like, I guess, is that trailer? Uh, my trailers are good. It's pretty much infinite and permanent. <laughs> and cool thing about the side deck is everything is super cheap. Uh, except for Regeki. But we already own Regeki, so eh, whatever. We actually own trailers too. Uh, spell mode is cheap. Darko we actually own, but it's cheap. It's that's in the dollar. Twin Twisters are cheap. Solemn Brigade is... Ah! Really? Wait, what? I thought that was going to look back on noise. My wife is destroying my glow. <laughs> yes, I have a glow because I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I'm a big fucking geek. Um, so this is the side deck, I guess. Three spear mode, two two failure, one Darko, one Mageki, a uh, one Mageki, one Darko, three twisters, one judgment, one warning, three strike. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't subscribe. Know what you think in the comments below. I'll catch you guys later. Maybe. Um, maybe my wife will start uploading on my channel, maybe, uh, putting her on the spot, but anyway, I'll catch you guys, this is Jinzo, right now, have a good one, happy Easter by the way.